It's another lovely day today here at Mills Motors, located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. Right now we're looking at a 2017 Acadia SLT2 all-wheel drive in the Iridium metallic exterior. And this vehicle has a 3.6 liter dock direct injection six cylinder engine with six speed automatic transmission. Let's take a look inside. And now I'm just going to show you around the interior area of the vehicle before I take you through its tech features and amenities that it has. First thing I'm just going to mention the power adjustable seating that the driver's seat is equipped with. And then I'm going to show you a couple things on the driver's side door before I shut it. So you have the Bose premium audio system right here. And then just above it there, you have the uh, operation for the tailgate, the trunk release, sorry. So you can have it lift all the way or you can set it to lift three quarters of the way up. And you just press it and release it there. So I'm going to climb inside and show you around now. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the um, IntelliLink screen in the center here, the full color touch screen. So like I said, it is a full color touch screen and is equipped with lots of different features for your accessibility. So have your audio, which has a variety of different streaming options. So you can use Sirius XM, AM or FM radio, as well as you can stream via Bluetooth, via USB or via power, power or audio auxiliary. And you can stream uh, also with Bluetooth, you can connect your compatible cellular device and take advantage of the vehicle's built-in hands-free um, voice command operation system. Projection is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And if you'd like to learn more about how to use Apple CarPlay, we do have a video on that on our channel. We also have a variety of videos taking you through the different infotainment options. So you can check those out. We have a variety of tutorials. Navigation here, you can um, take, I'll take a look and show you what it looks like. This is the map that comes up. And some, something that's neat that you can set on these vehicles is you can actually set destination favorites. And if you'd like to learn how to do that, uh, as you would a radio favorite, uh, we do have a video on our channel for that as well. You just have your settings down here. Text messages compatible with certain smartphones. You can pre-program some messages to send. OnStar um, commands. Your rear climate zone is, uh, automated through here so you can sync it with the um, dual climate zone down here or you could have them control their own oh, and the second you can take a look at the backup camera full color backup camera with trajectory and then you do have your traffic monitoring system so we've taken you through that area move down again like I mentioned it's a full color touch screen but you do have some added buttons for accessibility and if you move further down, like I mentioned, it is a dual climate zone. So the driver and the passenger both have their own climate controls and then you can control the rear climate as well. And then the driver and passenger both have heated seats with two different options. A little bit of storage space down here. And then there's a power outlet as well as two USBs and an audio auxiliary outlet. And if we move further down here, this center console does have of wood grain trim which is quite nice we have traction control right here as well as your hazards are activated right here and then there are um, two cup holders and then you have your different drive modes that you can go through right here if you'd like to learn more we do have a video about the Acadia comparing it to the Enclave I can link that as well park assist right here and then we do have the um, lane keep assist option right here moving along to the leather wrapped center console this is just the interior area of it. Take a look now at the perforated leather seating that is available in this vehicle, quite nice. And then the wood grain trim that continues along these side doors. As I mentioned before, the Bose premium sound system. Take a look at the GMC branded floor mats. I'll show you around inside here, the box. And then if you take a look up top here, Plenty of different options so there are three garage door programmable options and then we do have a uh, sliding sunroof right here so it does slide open like that and I'm going to close that and then we do also have a full tilt so it does tilt up as well as there is a fixed moonroof in the rear on star buttons just below there to help you stay safe and connected while on the road. And then we're going to move over to the driver's information center in front of us here. It's basically a tiny version of the IntelliLink screen with uh, the drive menu. So you can set um, whatever you'd like to have displayed while driving. And then you also have the option to uh, control your audio, your phone, navigation, and then this is just the settings for in here. It's located conveniently just in the center of the gauge cluster there. 
If you take a look on the right hand side of the steering wheel, you do have the hands-free voice command options as well as the controls for the driver's information center. And then just behind the steering wheel here, there are uh, controls for the audio. And then on this side, there are controls for the going through your favorites. Head on collision alert right here, you can set the following speed because uh, it is compatible with adaptive cruise control. And then right here is the cruise control settings, of course. Next to us here, we have the lights for the dashboard display, and then we have the parking brake. And then finally, on the driver's side door, you do have the memory seating as well as memory mirrors. And then, like I said before, the trunk release is down here. And then the power windows are right here with a express power window for the driver. And then you have your power mirrors. And the mirrors also have the integrated blind spot information system just right here. If you take a look in the insignia, it'll just light up when there is somebody in your blind spot. So I'm just going to give you a quick look at the exterior of the vehicle on the driver's side and then I will show you the cargo area that is available in the rear. So firstly, I will point out the 20 inch aluminum wheels that are down here. Then I'm going to move along to the back of the vehicle and show you around the cargo area. And I'll point out the parking sensors just right here. And then the full color backup camera is just right here. I could open the trunk by pressing back here and lifting the tailgate or I have the remote right here can double tap on the remote and it opens for me which is so nice and now the rear cargo area has multiple configurations so I'll take you through some of those now you can see what it looks like with the third row of seating down right now and then when I take you through the back seat I'll show you what it looks like when the third row of seating is up but there is a retractable cargo cover in there right now and you can fully remove it as well so all you have to do is pull it out at the sides and it comes out completely and you can store larger items and you can lift the third row of seating back up. Just underneath here, there is more space as well. And then we do have cargo tie down hooks there and on that side. And then you do have a power outlet just right here. And then your passengers do have access to a charging outlet just right there on that side for the back seat as well as there is some shelving area and some cup holders. Take a look up top here, you can see that they have their own vents. And then finally to close the trunk, I can press the button up top here and it closes automatically. Then I'll show you the uh, passenger exterior of the vehicle. And now we're going to take a look at the rear passenger area of the vehicle. So you take a look inside quick overview of the second and third row seating and then I'm going to show you everything in depth. So firstly your rear passengers do have access to their climate controls as well as these front two captain seats have heated seats and then there are some charging outlets down here so you've got two USB outlets and then a household power outlet and then you do have additional storage space just under there for your passengers. You can see the front the, the floor mats there and then I just do have the retractable and removable cargo cover just um, stowed away right here so I can show you the rear seats. So there is a pouch on the back of the driver's seat and passenger seat for your passengers and then if you take a look at the seating it is again leather seating with the perforated leather upholstery and then it does have a drop down armrest right here. Like I mentioned earlier, there is a fixed moonroof in the back here for your rear passengers, as well as they all have their own vents above their seats and the dome lights as well. So I'm going to show you all the different configurations that your passenger seats can go. Um, so these seats both do drop down to provide more storage space if you do need to lay things flat on top. And then, like I said before, here's the look at the third row seating and you did already see those stowed away in their full, um, fully stashed position. So that's what they look like upright. And then these passenger seats do also move forward. So all you have to do is grab this lever here and pull them forward and they do slide all the way forward. So that's if you need to store more items or to assist your um, rear passengers climbing into the vehicle. Now there's a super easy path for them to get back there. And it's really easily done. I did this all with one hand because I have one hand on the, the camera the whole time. So like I mentioned before, super easily done. And I also said I would show the rear, pass rear cargo area with the third row of seating upright. 
So that is what it looks like there. It is still extremely spacious for such a mid-size SUV. And then you can see that these seats do lower really easily. You drop down the headrests just like that. And then you can lower the seats right there. These ones lower there. And then you can pull and push these ones down. Just like that. Just like that. And then there is everything stowed all the way. Plenty, plenty of storage space. And there is your look at the 2017 GMC Acadia SLT2 all-wheel drive in the Iridium metallic exterior. This vehicle is equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar with its own 4G LTE Wi-Fi network. If you're trying to make the decision between the Acadia and the Enclave, we do have a video on our YouTube channel that explains the differences between the two as well as the similarities if you'd like to check that out. And if you'd like to test drive this vehicle, come on down to Mills Motors in Oshawa, located at 240 Bond Street East, where we'll do whatever it takes.